Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing business visas. And the reason I, I made the title Business Visa Routines is when we're first dealing with clients, usually within the first three to four months, when we're getting somebody set up here in Thailand, getting their business visas sorted, getting their company set up, it, basically getting them all rounded around, there, there does come sort of an inflection point of frustration where people get, because they, they're going through all this stuff and, they're, and it's all very foreign and you're kind of dealing with a system that you never dealt with before. It gets frustrating, I get it. You know, you're dealing, dealing with a lot of different moving parts and you know, we try to explain it as best we can, but there just comes a point, I think, where people get a little frustrated. It's usually the point at which where you come to the culmination of getting the business visa, extension issued, and then everything is sort of sorted out from there. As we've noted in other videos, generally speaking, you go in, file for your business visa extension, there's a 30-day review period, you come back and you get your other 11 months. Uh, generally speaking, you know, in the vast majority of our cases, we don't have any major issues once a case is filed. Uh, but the, the reason for this video is to just kind of explain and assuage folks who are getting, you know, they're getting a little exasperated and they're dealing with, you know, the kind of culmination of everything. In a very real sense, the business visa is a culmination of a lot of things, especially on a new company set up. You're getting a company set up, you're dealing with a lot of certification, you're dealing with a work permit, and then you're dealing with a visa issuance. You know, it, it just sort of accretes and builds up. And then it just kind of, the climax, if you will, is that business visa being issued. And at that point, you know, you do kind of tend to get into a routine. Many of our long-term clients in business visa status, and I found myself feeling this way once I had dealt with it, once I had gotten my initial extension so many years ago, 15, 14, whatever years ago, the, um, yeah, it, it, there, is kind of a, there is kind of a relief and there is kind of, it becomes a routine. As long as a company is maintaining its compliance, it's in compliance with Thai law with respect to business visa issuance and extension and renewal, you know, it's pretty much a routine at that point. We assist folks in dealing with it. It's not, it's not the easiest routine to deal with. I mean, there's a lot of documentation that needs to be maintained and that's a lot of what we do in our office is maintaining corporate documentation and assisting folks with business visa application and reapplication renewal and everything associated with that. But yeah, it does kind of become a routine at a certain point where you're dealing with the ongoing extension of business visa status here in the Kingdom of Thailand.